And we are live. Welcome, everybody, from all over the world. I'm sure eventually we have a few viewers here. Uh, but we're here for the Tuesday Challenge on them, a brand new weekly event that we are going to add to the schedule. And this is going to be a lot of fun on them. Thank you for joining me in this endeavor. You will be here every week or almost every week to take down some bridge champions on the other side. Well, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. We do a Wednesday morning tournament. Uh, and I don't think you've ever seen it because, you know, you're, you're probably not even up that early on. Them. You're, you're doing all these fun things. But uh, Gavin and I do this match points tournament in the morning on Wednesdays. I thought it would be fun to do something imps wise, which is a different form of scoring and can be more exciting. And we have a real exciting match today because you and I are always going to be playing against a world class pro on the other side. And our pro today is Joe Grew. One of the oh, best players in the planet. In the planet. So, uh, first of all, and I'm just give the audience a little bit of a discussion on the difference between imps and match points. Just kind of top level stuff. Um, the cut and dry difference, I guess, is imps are like a form of total points, but match points is uh, like your score based on a curve against other people. Um, so the difference can seem small, but it's actually really big because in match points, let's say you score 420 in a game for four of a major, but someone else takes 10 tricks in three, no Trump scoring 430. That's a huge difference in a match yeah. point score, but there's no difference in an imp score. Yeah. So the, the actual comparisons are, are much less in a, in an imps format, usually, especially today, it's going to be one versus one. So really the, the amount that you might beat someone on a certain hand score wise is, is what really matters, right? So in a match point tournament where one player is in four spades, making four for 420 and the others in three, no making four, that's 430 huge in match points. One player gets a top one gets a zero and imps nothing. Right. There's no difference at all. Big things for this format. We're going to be super aggressive every week here on them. We're going to try to get to those vulnerable games, especially. And we are going to push in spots here that we wouldn't normally be pushing at in your garden variety partnership pair games and things like that. Is that fair enough? That is fair. So let's jump in here on them. We are playing uh, against Joe Grew today. Uh, Joe, for those of you that don't know, is honestly one of the best players in the world, in my opinion, on him. He's a world champion player, and he's also a super nice guy. And uh, he, For sure. All he, of those things are very true. He played this uh, on a walk home from the Bridge Club today in New York City. So uh, we're going to be thinking really hard and take about an hour to play this. I would guess he played this in about, uh, I don't know, 12 minutes or something like that. If we know Joe and uh, welcome everybody. Are we getting that? We're getting the crowd back here. David, welcome. Learn bridge in Singapore. I tell me your name. You're, you're here frequently enough. Shout out your name for us. So I know what to call you. And Anum and I will take a look at our first board here. Pass one diamond on our right on them. And this is our hand. Let's take a second. Let's see, first of all, what our audience might choose to do here. Let's give them a shot at this and then let's take our own shot afterwards. All right, Gary, nice to meet you finally, Gary. Welcome. <laughs> and and let us know if we can help at any point or run an event in Singapore. I've never been, but I would love to be there. <laughs> right, one diamond to you. What are we doing, guys? Pop your bid choices into the chat, and we'll have our champion player on them here hit us with some truth here. Well, we have a lot of options coming in on the chat. Most of them primarily are one spade. Sounds about right, right? Double yeah. is in the mix, but not when you have five spades and four hearts. Right. right. Five, four major hands are notoriously uh, a little weird to handle because if you overcall your five card suit, you could very easily lose your four, four fit in the other major. Here we kind of have like an easy way to show both of our suits because if you bid spades first you can bid hearts later yep if you, you'll have uh you know a very likely opportunity to take another call here for sure and and if we did something like this if we take these two spades away and we put them in the club suit that's a double guys 
Right? That's a spot where now, because it's a five guard club suit and you're four three in the majors, now is the time to bring in all three suits. And this time we're, we're going to bring in the two most important suits and we're going to start with our five guard spade suit first. So good job in the chat there, guys. Diamond is spade double on our left. There's our four card heart suit to our left and partner raises to two spades. Let's give it to the audience again, Otto. What are we doing here? My partner raises the two spades on this auction. Take your call, folks. It's a pretty interesting situation with the auction we've seen so far. But is there reason to continue or are we out? David just getting in there. No fear. I like it. It is imps, right? So the the one thing that we can say is we want to be certainly more aggressive when we think a good score is available. However, there's a fine line between more aggressive and just maybe too aggressive, right? And that's the line we're trying to, to manage here. Uh, one thing we know partner didn't do here is Qubit. We also know partner could have passed if they had nothing, right? So they have to have something over here, right? On them. What, what are you thinking with this hand? So uh, we have obviously a very good shortness. Uh, no diamond losers, a huge plus for bidding. Um, yeah. But one bad thing we have going for us is it looks like we have a negative double on our left right. over our king fourth suit. So maybe just jumping to game a little bit much but we should probably make some kind of game try i think just you have a little bit too much to go quietly into the night and play a part square right and partner can have a lot of hands that we can construct for them where we're just making an easy game here with a raise that yeah. they always make right so for sure so what's our game try going to be on them is the question um could be i think uh two no trump three clubs three hearts they're all in the game um i would personally bid three clubs yeah uh to give partner the most room to you know do something i don't think if i bid two no trump we're gonna get uh all of the information we might want and to be honest the, the robots aren't great with any of these bids but at least we'll have a chance to get some cooperation from partner here and see what happens so we'll, we'll try three clubs <laughs> they bid three arts to our left now we have a little more idea about what's going on with the shape and whoa wait a second <laughs> let's go robots okay three this spades, is a very right. unexpected continuation uh, <laughs> this is robot town right now on them we are at their mercy and now it, it looks like they might be fishing. We're going to let them do their thing, I would guess here. We're, we're just going to sit back and and see what kind of trouble they can get into. Okay, four diamonds. We're going to float that. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let, let's just, before we do anything, let, let's kind of think about what's happening on this end. Um, it looks like partner definitely has hard shortness or... I mean, am, am I the weird call? For I'm me not. Is three I'm spades. not so sure. I'm not so sure we're looking at heart shortness in partner's hand. Well, um, do you think three spades was an attempt to play three no to, or something from East here? Because that's the only thing we. I'm thinking, thinking that's the hearts. case. Yeah, I'm thinking East was trying to play three no Trump. At least when they pass four diamonds, there's no way, or right. we shouldn't be giving the robot some hearts. Sure, um, sure. presumably if they had some hearts, they might have just bid four hearts at some point, but they didn't do that. So this is a little weird. I don't think we can give partner just short hearts and call it a day here. Yeah, I guess, I mean, these partner could have three hearts and these could just be void and made a weird three spade bid, I suppose. I don't know. It's Or I mean, hearts could be six, four, one, two, you know, partner sure, could have two hearts. Sure, sure. Um, uh, I mean, so what to do here? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they make four diamonds. But is there any um, is there any possibility or is there more possibility of us making four spades? I mean, it's imps, so we don't necessarily have to worry about maybe, you know, a part score differential here, right? We just Yeah. Um generally I would want to avoid some high variance call like double. Um for sure. Especially with the robot across the table. They don't like those. Yeah, you just anyway. you just never know what's going on <laughs> yeah, with these right. guys. Um I would say we don't rate to make four spades. Uh, with probably only eight spades between us and 
you know, depending on if this robot was trying to get to three, no Trump, they might even have good spades and, and bad clubs or something weird like that. Sure. Sure. So, uh, I mean, let's float this and, and make a lead. Eh? Yeah. Let's just defend. <laughs> now the question is, what the heck do we want to lead to this thing? I mean, I would lead it. I would lead it. Trump. Good. Let's take a peek. All right. Okay. Dummy was five, five. Okay. So good thing we didn't double this contract. Yeah, sure. There are a lot, a lot of diamonds in Demi. Very interesting um, uh, choice on this hand to bid three hearts rather than uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, how do we proceed, guys? Let's take Any a suggestions? Yeah. What what, what are we going to lead from the South players' hand, guys? While we try to figure the same thing out. I mean, everything looks like it's just ridiculous from this point. Right. I mean, Everything, we, everything's we bad. can't lead any more Trumps, unfortunately. Yeah. And I'm not sure we could lead enough more to matter. Well, to be honest, I'm super happy we let a Trump originally on him because at least we don't yes. have to face this lead again after we get thrown in with the Ace of exactly. Diamonds. So, I mean, I it sounds like East has one or two spades over there. We could play Ace of Spades, Spade, and just hope to get out with our lives. But, I mean, a club could be terrible, I suppose. Or is it really that bad? Are they gaining anything? Yeah, they could. Well, so what's well, partner's sure. hand for their for their raise? They they don't have much in diamonds, clearly. Yep. And they had enough to bid two spades. They have at most one point in hearts since we see the other nine. Yeah. Um I I'm really afraid of playing a club because even if partner has an honor, now we're making our queen finessable yeah. by just playing that. So I think we're forced into just playing the ace of spades and, and a spade. Yeah. I think that's our, our least of evils at this point. And we'll see what partner's doing over there. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, it's not like partner has a king of clubs, maybe. Well, if that's the case, there was no there was no winning play. Yeah, right. Okay. They'd have to have the king jack of clubs. I guess not. I guess partner just had some sort of four card raise or something, I suppose. There we go. It's a fun hand when the robots are just ripping tricks on you on them. But at least we they did missed not get a game. Any they 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 did they did um well to compete to four diamonds. There, there's partner's extra points. There's too. partner's there, card. There's their king of diamonds. That that Okay, minus 130. Really, I can't see Joe getting too far ahead of us on this board, you know? No. Well, you never you never know with these guys. We'll see. Okay, one diamond on your right. Ooh, let's give this to the audience as well. One diamond, your bid. The robot is, is in love with this bid so far on the first two boards on him. Diamond <laughs> to us on each of these. Make your call. And if you didn't hear earlier, the Bridge Club in New York City was open today, I believe, for the first time. They had like 10 tables. Wow. Uh, and uh, I have to say, I saw a picture. Very excited about that. <laughs> just the the look of live bridge is just uh, something that is sorely missed. All right. So we have some doubles. We have some passes. Colors he, on these types of decisions might make a difference. And the other thing that Imps is going to teach us throughout the, this series on them is, is that we're, we're going to really have certain decisions that we would always make in Imps and never make in match points, for sure. That's true. And we're also going to understand in competitive environments, especially there are different kind of... It, it's certainly more important to be competitive in a match point situation more frequently than it is in an Imp situation in general, I would say, as far as preserving good scores and things like that. Uh, I like double with this hand on them, but I could pass for sure. I think either are fine. Uh, both are in the game. I would I would double just because you're not ever going to be comfortable later in the auction if you pass. Yeah. If it goes a diamond pass, a no trump pass, pass to you, you just, you don't know what to do. And, and we really just, we, we owe it to partner just kind of be just straightforward with our hand here, right? We, we get an yeah. easy way to show partners pretty much exactly what we have. It's not ideal. We would prefer to be a little more shapely, but. I mean, one one thing that I like to do, imps or match points, 
um, is you get in early and you get in quick before they can double you for penalties. So here, like, just show your <laughs> opening hand and <laughs> I like it. And you know, call it a day. I wish I had learned that uh, decades ago. On them, where were you when I needed you back then? Uh, one diamond Bid double. before doubles are penalty for sure. Ooh, okay, let's let's ask the audience this: What is two diamonds, folks? What <laughs> is our robots auction. two diamond bid? We have made a takeout double and they bid the opponent's suit. What are they doing here? Talk to me. Talk to us. Excuse me. No, talking to you is okay. I'll be a listener. It's overrated, basically, you know, in, in general. Unless, um, so unless are vaccinations right required at the New York City yeah, they, Bridge Club? Yeah, they are, as far as I was told. Yes, you, you have to be fully vaccinated, uh, which I understand in New York City, for sure. So this two diamond bid, uh, it's definitely a cubid, but it's a different version of a cubid than you guys might be used to. The one most of you are used to is the cubid that's a raise of partner suit. Uh, here, however, we made a takeout double, right? We didn't show a suit. We, we showed a, a hand with all three of the unbid suits and, and values. Mm -hmm. Partner's actually saying to us, hey, I have a good hand also, and here it should be a good 10 or more. And it is also saying, I'm not sure where our best strain is or our best spot will be. I need to know more about your hand, specifically, usually on a, the major suits, right? Yeah, uh, your goal after this, seeing this kind of cubid with, uh, sorry, um, what it does is it sets up a force to two no Trump or suit agreement. Very good. So over two diamonds, if the takeout doubler bids two hearts or two spades, they're not expecting the auction to end. You must either find a fit or bid to two no Trump before this auction can end. Good. So we can we can actually draw a line then on them and say this this sort of bid is always forcing to two no or higher, basically. Basically. Sweet. So and that's we're just gonna pattern our hand out here and just tell partner, hey, we do in fact have four cards in the heart suit. And partner now bids two spades. Hey partner. We didn't find the fit we were looking for. At least that's what they're saying. They have four spades and they're giving us an option here. And one issue we have on them is we really can't necessarily bid two no with this hand because of an issue or what, what are you thinking? Yeah, two no seems like a disaster. You don't have another four card suit. And here we want to run into the problem of having started with double. Um, <laughs> that's a good point. Honestly, I, even after I just said we're in a force to two no Trump, I want to pass. Uh, yeah. I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the good thing is, is that partner knows our hand, right? Uh, they could yeah. certainly be expecting us to bid. I mean, I don't really hate bidding two no in a spot like this, but yeah, I, I, I see we have a, an issue that we really can't get around unless we bid three spades or pass, I think. And we're not going to. I mean, I, I wouldn't spades. bid three spades, no. and I can't bring myself to bid two no let's, trumps. Let's float this then. Let's let's actually call this. I'm just going to break uh, the rules the here. Unum and pass. Reversal. The unum <laughs> reversal. <laughs> See, uh, this is a great example of what happens in bridge. They teach you something, they tell you what to do, and then they promptly tell you, wait, that's a bad idea. Well, here's the other thing that that is different about this this event we're playing in is. Uh, we, we do know that we have the best hand at the table. And when we have 13 and we're flat and partner isn't willing to bid a game for us, and clearly it, it, in my book, it seems like they're denying uh, a diamond stopper as well, right? They wouldn't offer up a four card spade suit, or I guess they would, uh, they would. with a They would spade. always show a four card spade suit. But here, I think the main point is that they don't have five spades in a good hand. Yeah. Uh, they might <laughs> have. The they might have done know. something That's a little bit different. We know. Exactly. And uh, I think there was a question there earlier that I wanted to get to from Alexander. Uh, no, there, there. Uh, our double does not show both majors. It shows usually, usually at least four or three in the majors when we double a minor. But it could sometimes be two three card majors as well in weird spots where we just kind of have to make a call. Anyway. I mean, the other the alternative to pass, I think. Uh, which is in theory breaking the rules of this auction um, is to overbid a little bit and try three diamonds just till partner has like I mean, more than 10 high card points either, right? and see if they can bid three no Trump. But now, uh, but now we end up playing what? 
But now we're going to be a level higher in what might not be a fit. And one diamond stopper might not lead to nine tricks on these kinds of auctions. And honestly, we so, would prefer a partner to bid no Trump if anyone's going to bid no Trump in this spot, right? Exactly. Um, so I, like I think uh, I, passing is probably not the worst thing, but it could be it could be bad. You could miss a game. You convinced me. Well, the thing is, the good thing is in, on Wednesday mornings, we're always worried about what the field's going to do here. We just have to wonder what the heck Joe did. Joe doubled for sure. Joe doubled for sure. And he had the same sure. auction, right? It, he had the same auction. What did, what would Joe do over two spades? He would pass. I, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he grabbed the no Trump. I mean, I don't know. All right, we're going to pass. How about it? Let's just do yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just do commit. it. Let's, let's hope we're this. not getting like the worst possible dummy ever here. Come on. Not buddy. two diamonds. Oh, okay, one diamond stopper. Hooray. Count. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. These hands play terrible with each other, guys, which is why we're so happy. Let's take a second, though, guys. Picture East's hand. What's East looking at on this? Or, or more appropriately, how about tell us the range of values in the West player's hand? Right? Tell us the range of values in West. And I'm going to try to figure that out myself, too, on a Right, what's West looking at on, the, on this end? Ballpark. Mm. Yeah, partner probably could have been two no over double, I guess. But they want to find a major suit fit first. I mean, I think they should bid two no Trump over two hearts. If we had yeah. four spades, we Agreed. can then bid three spades. Yeah, we can, um, we can just to not give us this kind of problem. But, you know, robots are generally unhelpful. Yeah, so you right. guys all know. Yeah. They're great to practice with, right? The, the bridge based yeah. robots are legitimately a godsend to anybody that wants to get better at bridge because you can just grind hands. Yeah. You oh, like sandwich. you can just get the quantity. Yeah. Which but is the important. The bidding might be, be a little obscure. Yes. Yeah. Come to uh, the quiz check class the bidding. for the bidding. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so here, yeah, West should have almost nothing, guys. You should you should come up with yeah. about three points at their best, right? If East has twelve, and the way we're doing that for those of you that might not have gotten there is you add up all of our points that we can see, which is twenty five. East open, they have twelve, right? They can't have more than thirteen, so they have about twelve or thirteen, which means West has like two points, three points, something like that. So the moral of the story is we're playing East for most of the goods here. But first things first on them. How, how do we want to attack this hand, first of all? Well, let's start with counting our guaranteed tricks. We have four hearts. We have one club. And that's all we have guaranteed. Yeah. So that's five. We need to come up with three. Now, where are potential tricks? Um, potential tricks in clubs, potential tricks in spades. Sure. In fact, we would expect, based on the analysis we did, very likely three club tricks, right? Uh, right. Not guaranteed to win a finesse, but still, it, it seems like that's a pretty reasonable spot. Exactly. So if we can come to three club tricks and four heart tricks, we only need one more trick. Yep. Um, so we don't even really need to guess where the jack of spades is, especially since we're not playing match points. Just guarantee your contract. Another that's very, what you want to do. Very important concept for imps is absolutely what Anam just said. We do not want to risk going minus by trying to go more plus, right? We want right. to go- The worst thing you could do on this hand is like play a spade to the 10, lose to the jack and see a diamond through and the ace of spades is still out. So now they've set up their diamond suit and you don't have eight tricks. Yeah. So let's let's just hop over to this heart and lead a Trump, right? We're, we'll play this pretty much just like no Trump, basically, right? Yep. So we're just gonna lead towards this spade. I, I think just leading to the king and then plunking down the 10 maybe, I, yeah, I, I, I would know think the that's the safest. Beast, right? We here, just don't want West ever on lead, so <laughs> I would I would not exactly. risk this hooking the jack thing the other way. Okay. We can, and it's important uh, to note that you can survive losing to the jack with East. It's yeah. not necessary to pick up the suit. Absolutely. And here now we just have a perfectly normal, we can draw the last round of Trump and now just play no Trump, basically. All right. Queen of Spades. The Trumps are gone. In. Uh, no, there were four. There were four two, I think. Four two. Oh, we pitched a club over here. Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think. Uh, right. Yeah, there we go. We're good. 
There we go. So look at me missing missing tricks. Sorry, it's late at night. We're just gonna take a club hook here. Okay. And I don't think we can avoid losing two diamond tricks at this point. What do you think? I think that's right. Unless unless they're they're going to do something, you know, super weird. We will just let this happen. And I'm trying to I should have claimed by now on them. I have a, a history of misclicking that's pretty terrible. <laughs> All right, there we go. So this time, it, this is a cool contract because it is a no trumpy contract, even though we were playing in spades. And and this is a spot where we know we're never taking roughs, right? So so if we count losers on this, we can probably come to a reasonable number. But counting winners makes a ton of sense just because of the shape of both of these hands, right? Getting rid of that trump wow. suit was pretty reasonable just to take the rest of our winners. Looks like we were going to make game in all all the possible contracts for four spades and three no trump yeah. will will make on this hand. Yeah, if you guess spades, four spades will make easily, right? Yeah. Oh well. Well, let's let's hope Joe was just as conservative as we were. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> That's right, David. Gavin would. Gavin is fearful of of my misclicks already on him. You might learn the same, but. <laughs> I'll try to be on my best behavior. Uh, here, uh, this is just a normal one heart opener, right? I don't like, I do not like opening a no trump with positions like that in the minors. So I'm, you might convince me once in a while, ooh, we get to buy it for one heart. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this one, there's not going to be much to it. We're playing it from one side of the table here. That queen of hearts looks suspect on him. That doesn't seem like a lead that uh, should be made too frequently. Um, yeah, but it's it's still helpful. It's bad news, but good news. We would have gotten it wrong. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, if we think that's a stiff, which I think it has to be, right? I don't think I I don't remember them ever leading queen from uh, from queen and one. Do we ever want I mean, to play is, hearts? This is generally like a really weird trump lead. We're at the one level, and if you have one heart, like you have. You have to have a better lead available. I don't know what's going on. I think it's pretty clear that there's a much better lead available, but that's what we're dealing with. I um, almost, so I almost just want to take a diamond finesse here and see what happens. Um, I would uh, maybe right. He's take a beat on that. I would play clubs first. You play clubs first. Okay. You want to play? Even if the finesse is working for the diamond suit, the diamonds are blocked. So maybe something good happens when we play clubs. Maybe the and, jack of clubs comes and down. Honestly, this is the best because maybe they just make maybe they make another trump lead and, and take us off a weird hook here. Okay. There you go. There okay. Go. So the jack of clubs didn't come down. Nope. Um Trumps are still out. Well, I guess now we can play some diamonds. Let's see what's happening. No cover, that's usually a bad sign. Let's hope it's. But they didn't lead their Ooh, diamonds, okay. so it's, you know, now let's you're not worried them. about them roughing the second round. Well, righty, but not lefty, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would uh, one round of trump try round. a big trump, to yeah. be honest. There we go. Okay. Much better. We're kind of hoping to get tapped out here. We don't want space to be like, we want exit cards here, but. Well, you had a follow on. Um... Yeah, we're we're getting the bad break, but we're gonna make it. Oh no! Well, because we got I the we Trump got the time. we got the rough going quick. That's right. So they just got their natural Trump trick. I completely forgot they did rough the diamond there. That's good. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> not not that exciting man. How about this one, guys? Make your call. One club to you. It is your bid. One club to you guys. This is this is East just getting in our way all day long. I thought we were supposed to have the best hand at the table. I know. Dude. Apparently they're what's going on here? They're rectifying this. Joe requested, by the way. I asked him if uh, if he would play this challenge with us because honestly, I thought it best to have you know the stiffest competition up front. You know, just to, and and when we fail, we're really not failing on them. I, I didn't say when. Did I say when we fail? I said if we fail. <laughs> You know, it's not really a failure. 
Yes, it's never bad to lose to the best. Not at all. In fact, it's always good to challenge the best too. Try to mm -hmm. try to uh, improve your game. One club to you. Here's the the hard part about this saying, guys, is that this is not the right shape like the previous hands may have been for for action. Right. The the real problem is we only have two diamonds. I almost still want to double on them. Uh, because of the situation we're in, but really it's absolutely the wrong shape for that bid at this point. I'm in agreement. This is the wrong shape. If you're going to make an off shape double, you need one of uh, two things to be happening. You need to have a really good hand or you need to have both majors. You need to be ideal in one aspect. So let's say you had four, four, two, three, and some 13 or 14 count, you might still consider a double here just because you have both majors. Here, you do not have both majors. So I would just pass I like the way you, I really like the way you put that on them though. It's, it's, you, you want to be perfect in another way to, to go outside the box in a, in a different way, right? So you're balancing yeah. like a good in a, in a bad situation for partner when they, when they hit and miss. Uh, yeah, I'm a passer. And here we have to rely on partner to do something or, you know, maybe the opponent comes in with a bid that we can take some action on. I mean, once again, we could choose to double here, but I don't even know what the heck we'd be showing for partner other than spades. So. What do you think on them? I think double shows some spades and clubs. Yeah, double just for the robot is something random, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. Can't be that bad. For the robot, this double is two plus hearts. Maybe you should have not done that. No, we've survived. I just, I honestly, you scared <laughs> me so much right there. Anna. I was just terrified for a second for a pass and not, or, or I mean, now we could get competitive, but no, no, we're not going to be at the three level here. And this is an, an imps, by the way, you don't stick your neck out in a spot Certainly not in a spot like this, but e even in other questionable spots, it, it could be the difference between winning a match and losing it if they get a very good, juicy double off against you, right? So you, you're trying to avoid that big, you know, embarrassing score you bring back to your partners. Okay, here's the dummy, guys. Three diamonds. This was the opening bidder, right? They started with a club. And, they started with a club. And it went... Uh, what did what did they end up bidding? One heart? diamond pass, one heart. Yeah, there we go. Club a diamond, a heart. And now we're in three diamonds. Okay. Looks like partner got off to a really great lead for us. <laughs> Do you what? what are you doing with this one, Anam? I just gotta put up my king. What else gotta, is there to do? Gotta take your trick. Gotta take your trick. You can tell by what spot partner led that it's impossible that they have the queen of clubs. Yeah. So now it's mostly like, do they have one? Do they have two? Um, and so what happened to this trick? We put in the king and we saw... We saw the deuce. The two. Yep. So could, could declare be... could have queen third, but yeah, queen how likely deuce. is that based on the auction? They showed diamonds and then three cards in the heart suit, right? I mean, uh, I would I would lean towards that, you know, clubs are gonna be five, four, two, two across the table. Because if West had a weekend with three clubs, they might have just passed two clubs. They they didn't do that. True. So I don't think West has more than Queen in a club. That being said, um, even though we know partner's not roughing a club right away, it's we have an not entry. it's not clear that playing a club back is gonna be bad, to be honest. I could go club back and whatever, and then partner gets to win a diamond on her and fire a spade for us and maybe get something. But the queen. Some diamonds, kind of promotion. Yeah. Promotion right. is in the game. And we have this, this lead was not the best for us. For sure. A heart lead would have been a lot so better, much but better. partner was not to know that after <laughs> no. we doubled one heart. For sure. Um, honestly, for lack of anything else to do, I might just uh, play back a club to set up some kind of Trump promotion. Yeah. I don't mind. It's not like we're giving them anything they're not entitled to by this lead, and maybe we're getting something in exchange. We'll see what happens. Robots are taking their sweet time.
these are the uh, the did I mention that these are the you know the advanced robots? These were the robots that were requested by our opponent. Wow! So the it's extra nasty. the extra twenty five cents was paid for this challenge. All right, so that Trump promotion fantasy we had is dream is over. They're it's over. Take it's some done. clubs and pitch away some losers. But the good thing is, is if we didn't really have a legitimate path to beat this, over tricks are kind of not that huge of a deal for us. And match points. It also doesn't seem like we could have done anything to gain tricks with the stiff spade on the board. Right. Um. Right. We get one trick in the wash there. Uh, the only thing that really helps us is if partner. Did somehow get off to a heart lead, but it looks like we're taking some of those tricks anyway. Here, um, this is interesting. In in an imp format, the good thing about defending it, it's super fun to defend in imps because you can legitimately just sit there and think about, okay, what is the one possible way that I can have to beat this contract? Because that's the only thing that matters on defense, and and then you take that line. You don't have to worry about blowing an over trick here or there like you do at match points. Yeah. That's devastating at match points, and it's not irrelevant, but it is a very small risk-reward uh, proposition for you in an imps, imps format. If you can figure out how to beat the hand, play for it. Yes. Even if you don't get it, Even if play you think you're it. giving up a trick almost every time if you're wrong, it doesn't matter, right? We're, we're only trying to reach one end and one end alone, and that is to get a plus score on our card. Uh, I'm going to open 2 no with this hand on him unless you talk me out of it. Uh, 19 and ace jack. I'm talking you out of it. I open my five what? card suit. Stop it. I do it. I do that. Do you know that I do control the mouse, though? So technically, I could just slam in 2 no, but. Don't since, override me. Be a gentleman. Since I, just, just <laughs> you know. Okay. All right. Cool. Bear so, with me. So wait, let's. This is, this is really good. You set us up and you set the audience up with a really good choice. All right, so now, in Onum's amazing wisdom here, we open a heart with this hand, and you talk me off the ledge, well, honestly. The reason, the reason you do this, open a heart, is because discovering a 5-3 major suit fit over 2-no Trump is very difficult unless you're playing advanced methods. True. So I don't want to go out of my way to open 2-no Trump with a five-card major when I'm, especially when I'm off shape, like here I have even a secondary full card suit. The five four two two is definitely a more juicy right. for for the major suit opening. Uh, but what are we doing after it goes a spade pass pass, guys? Make your call. There's a call in there already. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> we definitely did, Gary. We 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 helped them on block clubs on the last hand, just like the pros that we are. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a this is a, a very interesting spot that a lot of people don't manage well because it doesn't really occur that often. Uh, but what are you doing here, Adam? What what are you reopening this auction? Because we know we're going to do something. The question is how do we how do we handle it after this? I think in this spot in the balancing seat after you see your partner pass when it goes pass pass to you. If you have shortness in the overcalled suit, your priority is to double. Absolutely. It is not to uh, bid a second suit. You would deviate from this only in two cases when you're very weak or very distributional. Yeah. And, and, and what you mean by that we is. We are neither of those it, things. Really important concept there is when we're short, which is honestly for me three or less, but definitely always two or less. If we're going to take mm -hmm. action, we're going to double, except when we're wildly distributional, like exactly. at least five, five or more where you know that, hey, this is one of those times where we're taking a lot of tricks on offense and not much on defense. And you know, here your partner is a past hand, so maybe five, five, you just bid your suits anyway. Sure. But um, really, anytime you're short in their, in their suits and it's possible your partner has that suit, we want to start with a double. Yeah, it's just good bridge for sure. And now, now it just goes two spades, pass, pass back to us for the same exact spot. I mean, I could be tempted to bid three diamonds here, but look at the colors, right? This is another spot where we might be in some trouble if we bid 
and partners had two chances at this. Um, no, I'm still comfortable doubling again. It's okay. okay. You want to double and not bid, not bid the dizzles. The reason I want to double and not bid three diamonds is because partner can have five or six clubs over there and, and not that could be diamonds. our best strain. Got yeah, it. clubs can be our best strain with king and a club. It doesn't seem obvious, but that's totally possible that this is your last seven card fit even. Looks like we're playing three hearts. Oh, oh now no, we're done. Not. Now we're done. Now, are, are we beating three spades? Probably not. <laughs> I refuse to double with the robot across from me in tight spots, and uh, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, deuce of, deuce of hearts. Make your play, folks. I bet I bet this robot has a Yarbrough with four hearts and just failed to bid. Yeah, could have could have snapped off three hearts right away for us. And which side is that on? What? Oh, I. <laughs> oh no, give me two seconds here. I need to turn the light around. It's only been in the wrong spot the entire time. All right, now now that we've lost we've lost Rob, we can talk all we want. Um, so what's going on here? Uh, we're defending three spades. Uh, the dummy is not promising, but they do have spade support, so that's not that. great for us. How are we going to come to five tricks if it's possible? Well, the good thing is it looks like they're going to be playing it pretty frequently from their own hand, except for maybe a couple of spots. Yeah. Um, so based on partner's lead, they have at least three hearts. Um, and I would think that because you know that partner has three hearts and we're helped by the fact that they bid three hearts over our second double when we when we force them to bid. Right. And they the, have three hearts. And the reason we know it's three raise. is because they led the deuce, by the way. That's what that's how right. Unum's they coming up with that, deuce. guys. If if partner took a preference with only two, we would expect to see the high card and then the low card. Exactly. We're starting with the low card. So high from Doubleton. So here you can you can take to the bank. Your partner has three hearts and a hand that was not good enough to bid two hearts over one spade. And not good enough to bid three hearts over two spades unless we force them. So they don't have a good hand over there. They have a right. really bad hand. Exactly. Uh, so, so the likelihood of the King of Hearts being there is low, but is there is there a reason to pop Ace here? I, I mean, I would think that there is not a yeah. real reason to play the Ace. Let's do this. Um, Just it, the Jack accomplishes two things. If your partner happens to have the King of Hearts, you'll see it right away. Sure. But it ensures that Wes doesn't take two heart tricks unless they also have the ten of hearts. Yep, and it forces them to rough a heart if they need to, rather than exactly. you know, have to have to go. So we're not it. setting up like a diamond pitch unless they also have the ten of hearts. Yep, and it looks like partner just had deuce three. Now what? Now we're on lead. We want to lead a trump, and if we if we did lead a trump, we definitely don't necessarily want to be on lead again. So we would play ace spade spade. We could also play a heart, I guess. You can do a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't want to play a club. That's the only thing I, I really don't want to do. And yeah, I guess we can wait to play diamonds. The diamonds really aren't going anywhere. Unless they do have a reasonable club holding, I guess. I mean, declare rates to have how many spades? Does, does anyone have a good guess? Good call. Let's ask. And I will remind you of the auction. Lefty overcall the spade, rebid spades, and then went back to the well at the three level. And we know they don't have the ace. Okay, <laughs> David, I want to ask. I'll demand. <laughs> you can have mouse control on him. I trust you more than I trust Gavin because Gavin talks a good mouse game, but he's never had the pressure of mouse control, you know? So, so he's yeah, an unproven. I don't, I don't need that in my life. You keep it. <laughs> It's like the remote control on the, on the couch, you know, who gets it? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so, yeah. so six is the bare minimum. Good, yeah, absolutely. good idea. Six and honestly, you wouldn't be shocked if it's a reasonable seven, King, Queen, Jack, seven, something like that, you know? And, you know, something we kind of skipped over in our uh, joking is no one discussed, like, how good do you think West's hand is? Good call. Uh, based on the auction. Um, and here are the inferences you have. Like, you know that West 
didn't preempt any number of spades. Yep. You know that they didn't double and bid any number of spades. So what is their range? Very cool. All right. So the, the double in bidding would be 18, good 18 plus, And the preempt would be like less than 10 or 11 ish, something there. So we're talking the high end of whatever's left. So you're expecting like a good 16, 17 with, with at least six excellent spades, right? Yep. And so if we're giving partner our robot three hearts, that means declarer has three hearts because we saw two in dummies. So if they have six or seven spades and three hearts, how many miners do they have? How many cards do they have there? That might dictate your defense a little bit. Very good. And that, that leans more towards maybe firing off some diamonds here to try to sneak it in. Uh, but that's only if they have good clubs. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Exactly. Um, you know, because the one bad thing about playing ace of spades in a spade is let's say your partner happens to have like the stiff queen yeah. or queen in a spade. We're solving this guess by playing a spade and it's not necessarily going to gain anything. We can't play enough spades to take away all of the spades from dummy. Exactly. We're, and they we're, only they're have always going to be able to, to accomplish their goal of roughing a heart if that's what they're trying to do. So what do you think on a make, make your play? I'm not making it. This is what you would pay <laughs> um, the big bucks for. Honestly, I would just uh, try and cash a high diamond to see what, what partner tells me to do. And uh, if the robots are playing upside down, this would be helpful. Uh, we have no, they, I can't say they don't signal, but I don't really take too much meaning to any of the signals that they might be making. So can someone explain to me what Anxiety Wednesday is? Uh, it's when Gavin joins us. He gets very anxious and he worries. Look at the screen on him. If I, if I do this with Gavin right here, oh, my God. It's like I've let him. <laughs> oh, my God, don't touch that. So, so, but in our, in our defense on him, we're on a three-game win streak on Wednesday morning. And David Devine, thank you so much for that super chat, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. I'll see you in the morning. Have a, have a great dinner <laughs> out west. All right. So Gavin's feeling the pressure Wednesday mornings. That's we're, what I'm we're getting. We're keeping it nice and easy here. Uh, <laughs> the, the moral to this story is on um, I kind of just, now that I've led the Ace of Diamonds, I kind of just want to lead the Queen of Diamonds now. I just, yeah. Let's just, just see what happens. Be done let's with play it some diamonds. And hope we're either creating a trick for the future or one now. Hopefully future now. Okay. There's their heart rough. I knew that was coming. We'll duck this spade smoothly if needed, but no, we'll leave it. Okay. Okay, are, so it just... looks like partner has a lot of clubs over there. That's yeah. three diamonds this guy followed to. Which means three diamonds they started with, again, at least six spades, and we know they had three hearts. Three so... hearts. So what are their two possible shapes? Good call. Ask the audience. And this segues very nicely to our counting classes we have coming up here. What is West's possible shapes? Knowing that we've confirmed two things. We've confirmed they have exactly three diamonds and exactly three hearts, or they started with those numbers, right? So there are two possible shapes they have. And they're based on one thing, how many trumps they started with. And this is how we count bridge hands. We come up with a couple of suits and we figure out the rest. And so Gary six, has it. Three, three, one. That's a good possibility. What's the other one? Yeah, he's got it right there, I think. Seven, three, three, zero. Yep. Okay. So if he's six, three, three, one, there's not really much to be done. He doesn't have anything in his hand except. Uh, I think we can be club. pretty confident he has the ace of clubs, correct? I, I would. I. Or maybe not, I guess. But maybe I, not. I think partner would have bid with the ace of clubs, though. Ace of clubs, and uh, I guess they haven't shown up with anything else yet. Right. So maybe I mean, would. there's there's going to be virtually no difference if you play your partner for the ace of clubs or the queen of clubs because you're not going to cash a second club trick. Right. right this exactly. is mostly about retaining lead. If the declarer is seven three three zero, you're not cashing any clubs, and now there's a spade guess. And if they are six three three one, and not the ace of clubs, what we want to do is cash the high club and so play the, the fourth lead. diamond. 
Let's do to, this. To do something. And here we can't be worried about doing anything badly because we've counted this hand and it looks like right. we king, queen, jack of spades for sure. And now we just play either red card will lead to the... Either red card or a club or... or that doesn't matter. Sorry. I, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm not paying attention. But it doesn't... Partner's here. not very helpful at all. No, Their spades no. are bad. I keep they didn't I, have the ace of clubs. I keep thinking we're playing a tournament, but I realize that you know we're we're going to be comparing against Joe, so I, I would guess this was a similar position as well. <laughs> I don't see too much so far. Let's just take a, a moment on him and gauge our game here. We're going to open up our results screen. Um, I don't see only one board here that we talked about that we might have been able to get a game score on, and it's a vulnerable yeah. one. So if Joe did that, we're down like what 10, 12? Yeah, everything else seems pretty. It seems whole hum. Run of the mill. Oh, yeah. and now as a, as we say that, here we go. Uh, okay, what's what's going on here? Twenty four. Oof. Well, it takes gonna, a minute to get that high counting. I'll we'll start with some two clubs here, and uh, this is all of our strong hands. Uh, we're only going to revid two no on them because uh, this is our textbook twenty two to twenty four. Even though this is as juicy a twenty four as we can get. That doesn't have a five card suit in it, right? Yeah. If any viewers play Kokish in this, uh, yeah, in this situation, it would be a good time to use it. But there if is, you don't, then there is two knows is pretty very normal. Good Kokish lesson on BridgeLesson.com. Check it out in the convention section, and maybe I'll leave it in the comments below. But two clubs, two diamonds, two no, three hearts, guys. This is just the exact same position as if we open two no, right? Partner has all the systems available because they need them even oh. more now. Right, our hand is so strong that it's even more important that we play it. Right, so two clubs, two diamonds, two no. We're going to accept the transfer because we don't have a choice. And partner's going to show a five card spade suit, and we're going to sit back and play some three no on him. We're going to try to play it better than Joseph Grew plays it. I like <laughs> our chances. No, good lead for us. Yeah, uh, it's it pops our finesse in and now let's let's give everybody a chance count your winners folks and plan some play all right maybe uh give us the winner count and what suit you want to break first how about that autumn um, uh you're doing amazingly well for your first live broadcast i have to say way oh, cool. way better than uh, my first live broadcast which i'm pretty sure i i did not save for posterity i burnt that one well <laughs> i'm glad i'm doing a little bit better than you did <laughs> i said much better I... i'm i'm being humble i'm practicing <laughs> uh so we have uh we have a good answer for a number of tricks we have on Enough, the heart lead right <laughs> We have enough, so now we're looking for extras. And, Unless and let's, you know, well, let me, we're let me in just of not let me just it. tick them off for everybody here. We have four diamonds, clear, right? We have two hearts because of the lead, right? We know we're getting the queen of hearts either now or later. We have two spades. There's eight, and the ace of clubs is nine. Now, in imps, when we have our contract, we can take our winners but we can also mine for extra tricks only when it is safe and right now after we win this trick it is absolutely super safe for us to be looking for extra tricks. so where are our potential other extra tricks coming from mm -hmm. what are we playing from our hand right i know what card i want to play actually right now i don't know if it's right it's probably wrong but i know what i want to play Uh, do we have do we have any um, any guesses in the chat as to where an they, they, extra they, tricks are coming from? We have a couple people that want to play some clubs. There's a, there is some spade players there, which I can definitely uh, sympathize with. Especially, I mean, cashing a spade honor and seeing if you see an honor would be nice. <laughs> I like a club on them. I like kind of just a low club to the queen, maybe just to kind of develop an extra trick or more in this suit if it's right. Um, spades has a twofold thing. We can create extra tricks in spades, but we may be creating one or worst case, two tricks for them. 
which might be worth it. So let's talk about the club suit in isolation, I guess. Everyone has come to the conclusion that they want to play a club. No one said cross the dummy to play a club. Um, and I'm not saying that's wrong. That could be very right. But why did we come to that conclusion? That's good. And this um, is an interesting one. And... You know, we're just going to speed right along here, and it's because we're missing the 10 of clubs. There's no possible club holding that we can come across unless our opponents kindly crash some high clubs where we can play clubs for no losers. Yeah, we have to so understand it's we're not... going to lose at least one trick regardless of what way we play this suit. Exactly. It doesn't really matter if East has the king of clubs and therefore it's in the pocket because we will have to give up a yeah. club in when, some fashion. When we play the queen, the correct defense for the opponent holding the king is to cover an honor with an honor and when this happens guys whenever you're considering popping an honor down to take a finesse like this ask yourself one very crucial question if the opponents cover that card does it benefit their position or their cards or your own and here if they cover the queen of clubs it is going to benefit their hands right their 10 their nine even even if the 10 is dropping, the 9 is promotable for them as well. So here on them, we get the chance if the King of Clubs is on side, we might be able to slide into two tricks in a different way. Right. And low to the Queen, you'll actually pick up one more club holding. If West starts with King fourth of Clubs in some fashion, you will take more club tricks than you might have thought originally. Um but I would probably cash a high spade before playing I, the club. I, you know what? I knew you were going to – I meant to actually do that before playing the club. But explain why. Because what if we if, – Sorry, go. go if go. the spades are Queen Jack Doubleton, you're just going to take all of the spades. Yeah. Um, if you cash one high spade and you don't see an honor, you can always go back to clubs. Right. And, and, um, and the only thing we're looking for is that one position that might be helpful, that honor dropping. Right. And then we can mine spades for extra tricks. My, and this is – guys in the chat – this is why Anum should have mouse control at some point, you know, because Rob is Rob is still messing up in the evening session. It's terrible. We should have Gavin guest star. See if he can keep well, that anxiety we'll, in check. We'll, uh, we'll have uh, Gavin be our our, uh, our our competitor at some point in the future for sure. He would love that, and and we'll both know by the way that he'll be on the other side of the screen, just freaking out over all his decisions while we're just you know we're just relaxing over. Uh, so what do you think we lost that? to the king of clubs. Well, uh, I see one extra trick with the queen and maybe more with yeah. the, the fourth club. Honestly, I would just take my ace and let's go back to cashing some spades to see if yeah, something let, good happens. <laughs> let's take the right line this time and see if anything good comes of it. Uh, nothing yet. Okay, but we still have life if we cash the second spade and now play four diamonds. Mm. See what happens. I like it. A little squeezage or pseudo -squeeze. Because we lost to the king of clubs. We're not sure if all of our clubs are going to be good. We could have lost to stiff king or king in one. And really, we're, we're either hoping clubs break or we see this. or we see Yeah, we see a club pitch. Club Perfect. Away. And then we'll just keep mining for extra tricks by doing it again. There's another They pitched club. two clubs. So. One, no matter what. And all right. They, were. So they, they made a they mistake were. by pitching. All right, they needed to hold on to that. And there is our very safe pathway to 11 tricks, folks. We could have started with nine. We took zero risk there on them. And we took two extra tricks to maybe inch up to our, our boy Joe on the other side here. All right. I'm going to open a no trump and you can't tell me not to. It's just I'm doing it. Sorry. You hear nothing from this side of the table. I didn't really give you much chance in, in your defense. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Another quick winner count, guys. Let's make it. And then let's let's talk about the well let's let's talk about a, a line of play maybe maybe just take your winners and and let Anum and us talk. I, this is an interesting line of play we could take for a couple of different ways. I I like one versus the other, but I like this Charles guy. Take him and run. <laughs> it's nice to see some of the evening names definitely names we've seen in other live sessions but definitely some new names so welcome anyone joining us for the first time i know uh 10 a.m is a weird time uh for a lot of you so 
So let's see here. Uh, we have a lot of answers coming in. We definitely have nine winners, right? right. And we, we know it's five clubs. clubs. We have three hearts and an ace. So, and where will we take extra tricks? And the question is also where and when might we take them? Right. So, so many questions we ask. What do you think? We're winning this in our hand on them. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, a good choice to win just the king. Keep, we don't want to accidentally the block the heart suit or do anything weird. We're just going to win in hand. There's no reason not to. I could be tempted to just lead a spade now. I Back would I think, uh, think that's a good idea. Um, you might also just consider playing five clubs. See if yeah, they that's the other... pitch a spade. Yeah, That yeah. would be nice. We, the, the interesting thing about this hand is it looks probably like no matter who wins a trick from their side, clubs isn't going to be a suit they're going to consider, right? So they're, they're likely to get off to a diamond at some point anyway. So maybe we can run some clubs and see if they give us some help. And it's not really going to bother us too much, right? We're still going to have entries right. in those hearts and we can just fire a spade at some point ourselves. One clear benefit to running your clubs instead of just playing a spade is if you run your clubs first and one hand gets busy guarding the diamond suit, they might let go of some spades and you could knock out the ace of spades and maybe all of your spades are good after that. Yeah. Yeah. Now they pitched down to like two and two and we're just we're just yeah. done. And while we still have the ace of diamonds. I like your line. Let's do it. Not surprising. There we go. We knew we had five clubs regardless because even if the, we get the worst break possible, we have nine of them. So we have all four. Didn't see any so, spades. The no sp spades yet. Two diamonds. Yep. The the other thing. Oh, there's a spade. There's one spade. And let's see a righty. Okay. And we, we've seen how many heart pitches, you guys. I'm glad. We've seen I, three hearts. I hope I'm not part of you guys because I was not paying attention. <laughs> We've seen one spade and two hearts from west, and we've seen two diamonds and one heart from east. So since four hearts are already gone, how many hearts are left? And we've already played one round. Right. So sometimes you might at this point play two rounds of hearts to see what's going on here and then play a spade in case someone's, you know, still guarding. Um, Give it them looks another like another chance to pitch a spade somewhere on the on the long heart. Right. It looks like, though, on this hand, you can get away with playing a spade now because West pitched a spade already. So if they guard, if they were guarding the spade, it's already over for them. Sure. OK. Um, no. Well, maybe we have a chance here. Yeah, oh, now we have yeah. a chance. Look at that. Look at that. Ten comes down. And now we play our hearts and we go about to, our day. Did I need to play the seven there? We, right. We, we, yes. Yeah. We. we uh, well, I had to unblock theory, this to take the finesse, right? Yeah. But we might not even, yeah. Okay, whatever. If I didn't count this right, I'm sorry. I, I, there you go. The... Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. It made no difference. Okay. Sweet. The seven of spades was gone already. Oh, yeah. It was a dummy. Or the, not the seven, the eight of spades is the card I was looking for. All right. that We couldn't have done much better there on them, other than maybe bidding a slam. We did pretty well. <laughs> uh okay i uh here's the deal now we're in the last hand if joe thinks he's made a mistake and he's down he's gonna open a no trump with this hand and to be honest he's probably gonna open a no trump with this hand 100 percent of the time i've know. learned from personal experience this is always a one no trump bid. okay good we're on the same page there's some trans i think joe there. actually the, the last time i played with joe he got mad at me for not opening a not vulnerable 14 count one no trump nice so much preemptive value he said <laughs> so here partner showed diamonds naturally by the way sorry I, I sped through that part of the auction guys partner transferred to hearts and then bid three diamonds which shows this hand it shows an unbalanced hand with five hearts giving us a choice this is going to be nothing basically uh yeah we're just going to roll right into we're, all we're going to hope tricks. joe like overthought it and bit a club and and didn't get the game but i can't see anything just weird happening and we're just hoping we're pitching a spade on that diamond over there as well uh eight ever nine never on him 
this is sort of an interesting position Can we because it? west led the king of clubs and you're looking at the queen jack nine uh so maybe we should take you might try and take a roughing there. finesse and drop the ten of clubs let's do that i like it oh now, my oh, god oh the 10 comes down you're just you're too good so now if the hand with three hearts has all the clubs which it doesn't look like they do you could pitch right away but now we know that east has the long heart yeah. which means we're not going to be able to pitch two spades so let's try and Are play the sure? diamonds and pitch a spade Wait, from him what was the club position originally we we had uh, four in the it, dominant. West had six six clubs over there. So at this point, like, we just want to play some diamonds and see if we can pitch the 10. Yeah, of... sorry. I, I, I forgot the 10 of clubs dropped. That's how we're getting there. Yeah, that's how we're getting there. All right, let's get that Let's get that even break there. Here we go. And now it's a loser on loser. 10 of diamonds, pitch a spade. And now we'll just cross rough this thing or just play our jack of clubs and pitch the spade. doesn't matter. The robot, okay, they weren't too, so, you know. All right, let's here see. Here we could have uh, probably taken 11 tricks no matter which hand had queen third of hearts because we took the roughing finesse in, in dime. Okay, in so so we got we have to wait a few moments. And there, oh my God, what, One a, to what two. a match, my goodness. How, One to oh two. no, one imp anywhere on them what could we have done on this one My let's God. blame the robots they forgot to double four Joe spades on played board with one. the robots too on them we can't we can't No, but his opponents robots. were robots they didn't double man what i'm just gonna what count this as a win wow. you guys I, I this is definitely a moral victory we played joe and we lost by one imp in eight boards that's pretty good look at this it, it's just all chops from board four to board eight we kind of knew that yes. on them but uh honestly i thought it's just so hard to play against a great player. Let's take a look at the scores. Uh, if well I done. We did achieve par on board one, you guys. Just just so we're clear. We did. Joe we did. went uh, down two in... Joe was in four board. spades, down two. And his robots didn't double. So, you know, they could have potentially collected 300 and that would have... That would have, that would have us. given us a yeah. clear victory. So what we need to do on them. So it, basically, if this were a real, uh, you know, a, a team match, we would be comparing with our our partners, our teammates at this yes. point. And we'd be like, how could you not double him in four spades? Exactly. This is where we get a little catty with our teammates and then say sorry. <laughs> so this is this is Joe's card. Uh, almost the exact same of ours. The only difference is four spades down two instead of letting them play diamonds, which was a one win for him. And then we gained an imp here. We made one more trick in spades, and then he made one more trick in hearts. And I think on him, when we were playing this, we thought we could have as well. Or uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what Joe did. Yeah, same let's see same what he option. Did. Queen of hearts. He got the same. He, lead. he just let he, he just let played heart. hearts. Yeah, and that's uh, whatever. That was excellent. And now it goes queen of spades, and he just draws around a trump, plays diamonds. Or, excuse me, clubs. Yeah, whatever. Congratulations, Joe. They didn't cash their <laughs> spades or something. They took one and shifted. Ah, there it is on them. And then that, they must that's have it. also. They they said, okay, I don't want to take that spade. That's trick. not the end though. They have to. They have to duck they, the diamonds. To, and then then they have to cover the second one too, right? Yeah. He just scores them out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good job, Joe. Um, congratulations. I don't. He's definitely not watching, but I'll give him a text after this and tell him he won by one. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. You did great. And we will try um, to find basically exactly a better what pro you said next too. week. We'll, we'll try to find a better pro to face off against next week. But this is going to be our weekly event. Uh, myself and Anum are going to take on the world's best pros every single week. Uh, we honestly should have started with a win, Anum. So we'll, but we'll call this. It's a W in my book. <laughs> Very nice. Well, I will see you next Tuesday. And guys, you will see us next Tuesday, tomorrow morning. And don't forget the Saturday game is running every week right here. On I Pace mean, Pace. we're winning. We're winning every time we show up. That's, That's my motto. Hey, we get to play bridge for our job on them. We we won at the, at the start there, so that's pretty awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching and dropping into this new event. We'll see you next week. Tell your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're watching this afterwards, and you'll be notified when we are live once again. On them, thanks again. 
and i Thanks, will see guys. you very soon bye bye and